Things just took a dark, dark turn. Ben Armstrong was just arrested live on stream with a weapon in his car. He appears to be on something with the woman he had an affair with after they were at his daughter's tennis match. Whew. Let's get into it. To be honest, I started to feel a little uh, sad for BitBoy because I did listen to the recordings he put out with TJ and that Carlos guy. It did seem like Ben Armstrong was going to fire TJ for some reason, but it looks like Ben Armstrong was the one who got ousted first. Now, obviously, Ben Armstrong is the majority shareholder in the company, but it doesn't matter if there's all these allegations thrown at you in the workplace. So maybe TJ beat him to the punch. Who knows? The truth is nobody knows what went down in the workplace. Nobody knows if those allegations are true, but what I do know is that ben is a bad look for cryptocurrency he's just not he's not the guy you want representing our space he's just not every big youtuber that's outside of cryptocurrency knows about ben armstrong because he makes an ass of himself and tonight just proves that point he makes an ass out of himself once again let's watch the video come hell or high water if carlos diaz comes out of his house and tries to kill me live on youtube then it's just gonna have to be what it's gonna be, Carlos. What you guys see, when I see a car coming down the street, I have to think about protecting myself. That's where I'm at, guys. This is not paranoia. This is not a crazy person. This is not someone who is erratic. This is not someone who is on drugs. This is someone who has been in the fear for his life for too long. And now, uh, somebody just texted me and said they're going to call the good call the cops. I will I will really enjoy the cops coming here. Here's the police. Police are here, guys. So we'll have to talk to him here in a second. Here's the point. He goes out there. He doesn't even go out there. He pays someone to take pictures in front of Ben Dottie's house. Okay, and then he tells them, "I better hurry up quickly here." He told me he went out there and roughed up Ben Dottie's, fought him and beat him up, and Maxine Waters, a politician told him to kill Ben Dadith with a fentanyl syringe. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? Hey, do me a favor. Yep. Okay, stop, stop. Hey, how's it going? Stop. Oh, hey. stop. Oh, stop. I couldn't you hear. You have a weapon on you. No, I do not. Okay. I do not. So. I have one in my vehicle, but I do not have a weapon on me. Okay. Okay. Do me a favor. Take out your whatever fanny pack. Now, uh, I'll, I'll, sorry, I reached too fast. I'm sorry. That's fine. Take out sorry. Pack. Okay. Put your phone down. Okay. Put okay. the phone down. Okay. Oh, put the phone down. Okay. Phone All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Put the phone down. Put the fanny pack down. Okay. Put the phone down. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? This man inside of this house. Actually, he's going to check you real quick. Yeah. Absolutely. Put your hands. I just, just no. the weapons. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I have a... All right. Okay. 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 Yep. No weapons. No Where weapons. in the car is your gun? It's in the back seat. Back seat? Yep. Is anybody else in the car? Um... Yeah, there's somebody in the car. Who's in the car? Uh, Who? What's that? Who's in your car? Who's in my car? Yes. Okay. Let's, uh... Who's in your car? Who's in my car? Who's in your truck, sir? Cassie is in my car. Cassie's in my truck. All right, Cassie. Who's Cassie's in my truck. My wife knows that we're here, by the way. She knows we came to do this. But my wife is aware. So we're live on YouTube right now. Okay. We, we got about 2,500 people watching. So Cassie's a girl I had an affair with. She's involved in the situation with me and this guy here. My wife knows. Uh, we were just at my daughter's tennis match. Cassie and I have came over here because this man is extorting me. He's death, he, he's death threatening me. He stole my Lamborghini. My Lamborghini is in his garage right now. In his garage. All right, get over here. Okay, absolutely. I mean, that's just crazy. It's like you're showing up to a guy's house with a weapon in your car, harassing him because you think he stole your Lambo. I mean, this stuff needs to be worked out in court. You don't need to take it upon yourself to roll to some guy's house. Like you said, this guy is trying to kill you, but you're going to his house with a weapon with the girl you cheated on your wife with, which is insane to me. It looks like you're having some sort of mental break and then you get arrested live on stream. Is this for clout? Is this for clout? Because this reminds me of when he was chasing Sam Bakeman Freed all over the Bahamas. He's he's live streaming it. This is for clout. It's like this clout chasing demon like can't get enough of the of the spotlight. The true narcissism in full display here. And you know what? It makes sense why Hit Network would want to get rid of him. And now he's going after his friends in crypto. He's calling out Wendy O, which is Wendy O's only shown concern for Ben Armstrong. I mean, look at I'm not the biggest fan of Wendy O, okay? But she's only shown concern for Ben Armstrong. And he says this. And while I'm at naming enemies, let's not forget. Wendy O. Suppose
supposed to be my best friend in crypto, puts out a video clout chasing me about my fake relapse because she was in touch with Hit Network. She didn't even get my side. One of my best friends know more. The thing is, I watched that video with Wendy O. It did not seem like clout chasing at all. It just seems like she was talking about it. And you know what? She only made a video about it. She didn't make a bunch of videos about it. She made one discussing the situation because people are going to want to hear her side. And then she says, that's not true, Ben. I talked about the allegations and said to wait for more info. I have been supporting you throughout this silently and publicly and have reached out to you multiple times and nothing from you back. If you want to talk, you if you want to talk and you are ever, ever free, reach out. So, and then this is true. She's been showing support for Ben. This is, he's losing it. And he's even starting beef with Altcoin Daily. Altcoin Daily is like crypto news. They talk about all things that are going on. It's not one side or the other. And he says, just so we are clear, Altcoin Daily is dead to me. They allowed TJ to go on their channel and spew garbage. I was very clear. Literally, Altcoin Daily was so neutral in this situation. TJ talked about the situation. He wasn't taking sides at all. And Ben Armstrong's like, oh, you're dead to me. Like, he's literally making all these enemies in the space. It's like, you can't expect people to support you when you're out here making all these enemies. This guy is a master manipulator, and I do believe he's lying about a lot of this situation. Like, I don't know what happened with him and Hit Network. Maybe they did take over his company for whatever reason. But this thing, remember he came out with that video asking for people for $20? He didn't have $20 to his names. His wife's credit cards maxed out. Well, I made a post saying this. I said, Ben has cars, clothes, jewelry, and a multi-million dollar house. He ain't broke. And no, he didn't need to borrow $20 for gas from a friend. He just wants to use your money so he doesn't have to sell his shit. And then he retweets my post, literally vindicating me and saying, I've seen some stupid stuff like this. Selling some of my vehicles is definitely a possibility. However, I have to pay a lawyer now. To get any amount of value for my vehicles, it would take more than a week, if not weeks. And yes, I really did have to borrow $20. So he's admitting to having things to sell. He has a multi-million dollar house. He has jewelry, he has clothes, he has cars to sell, but instead of going out and doing the work, right? Like me or you, like if one of us was ever in some financial trouble, what do you do? You look around your house, you sell something on offer up. I don't know, you figure it out. But instead of doing that, doing the work, getting a job or something, he makes this video where it seems like he's hit rock bottom. He says he doesn't even have $20 to put in his gas tank, but he has a Rolex that's worth more than people's net worth. That is master manipulation at its finest. And you know what? People fell for it because they gave him more than $200,000 in donations when this guy didn't have to do anything to go out and earn that money himself. He'd rather just mooch off the community again and people keep supporting him. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about this entire situation? I'm interested to hear your opinion. I hope he gets help or i hope he stops doing this crazy stuff because someone could really end up getting hurt and those are real life consequences see you in the next one peace